Hey everyone, Dan Takashi. Big exciting news today. Honda, Honda the car company, has announced a new car that is capable of automatic driving at what's called level three. It's the first in the world that is going to be granted permission by a government for level three automated driving on highways. The stock is rallying huge off of this news if we can see the chart here humongous rally and today i want to talk about whether honda you should be buying right here and getting in based on this news for those of you new to my channel my name is dan i'm a former hedge fund guy former wall street guy i traveled the world came back to tokyo japan where i was born and then just started youtube english channel i just started a few months ago the japanese channel is separate started in january would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel going forward from here today the day check i gotta do the day check before i forget is 3 55 p.m november 12th and guys first let's do a deep analysis of the news then the stock positioning short interest ratio and at the very end i'll give you my opinion on what's going on first and foremost let's go over the news today this is in japanese but do not worry i will translate it for you the most important part of this is that honda on november 11th this is one day ago announced a very high what is it cold though so it's high rated high capable automated driving powered level three transmission system first in this world that is level three what is level three level three basically mean this means even on a highway driving this car and even if you take your hands off on a highway this is capable of automated driving and this is called level three and not even that the government the uh ministry of transportation is giving permission to start uh, using this and start selling this as fast as say for New Zealand, the middle coast, the rest of the region, can scream up. So it as fast as this year to be able to give this permission and start this car selling. So uh, the start, this car is not going to start selling anytime soon. But the government has already given, or it's planning to give permission at this year. Uh, obviously, guys, this year is almost going to be done. So this will be the first ever in the world of a level three. Now, there's other types of car companies in the world that are, of course, doing this. Toyota, the very big, the largest car maker in Japan and a very big competitor to Honda is also engaged in this. But what, the, what they have is level two so far, whereas you can uh, take it's called a hands off transmission system, a hands off uh power system they have it's level two but they still do not have level three yet uh in the i mean it's in the works but nothing is announced as of right now same with nissan right now nissan seems that they're looking that they have a level two and they have a uh a pro pilot level two uh sort of standard but it's not yet for level three and then of course we have uh you know other companies like the german company audi i love audis uh level three jesus are just going to go but they have the technology yet the european government still have not put together a sort of law regulation in place to allow level three yet on their systems do note that german highway systems are very very unique it's very different from japan that's a that's a separate standard separate issue but nonetheless japan is going to be the first and honda will be the first if it successfully creates uh this 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 car that it looks like it, it's already uh, announced and then the government is going to give permission this year it's going to be the first of its type this will be big piece of news and what does this mean for the stock price so now let's get into number two as usual guys looking at the charts if you don't understand my lingo please see the below description area for my previous videos macd rsi bollinger band and short-term analysis long-term analysis looking at the charts here right now i'm looking at the japanese stock 7267 that's trades in tokyo and we see here this has just been an astronomical move over the last you know let's say one week or so the stock has gone up 20 percent huge move and on big volumes and believe it or not most of this move had nothing to do with this new prototype this new car news it had nothing to do at all it was just the overall market just shooting higher 
and this big big volume was actually on november 9th and this piece of news actually came out from what it seems on november 10th and november 11th so this big piece of news was actually based on the entire stock market rallying it had i think well it also had something to do with of course earnings as well but i think it was not as big of a news compared with this now Looking at the charts here, what's going to happen going forward? We see that the MACD is in a rising trend. We see that the RSI is also in a rising trend as well. RSI is at 73 right now. That's a little bit worrisome. Looking at the Bollinger Band right now, we see the Bollinger Band has widened a lot. Obviously, this is a huge widening here indicating because the standard deviation has widened a lot. The stock is moving a lot at the moment. So looking at this right now, it seems like the trend is seeming to be going higher right now. It's still inside the band. So it seems like there's nothing to worry about. The only thing that I want to check here is this RSI. RSI on a short term basis, I don't think it's very useful for indicating whether stock is over overbought or oversold. But let's look at it, let's say on a bit of a long term. So let's go to the one week weekly chart here. And looking at this here, we see the RSI is only at 60, indicating that this is not even close to overbought, in my opinion, not even close. We can see here that it can go way above 60. It can keep keeping going, 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 and going. During 2017, the weekly RSI got as high as 78. So this is not overbought at all, in my opinion. And right now, it seems to be testing a very big level. This 3000 level seems to be a big test. It was it's been a big bid uh, resistance level for many, many years here. So I think if it breaks through the 3000 level, it's probably going to keep going higher. Now, let's look at some other things here. Let's see, for example, right now, Honda is quite highly correlated with the Japanese market. Uh, for some reason, my chart's not showing up right here. But looking at, for example, the topics, the topics is also shooting up and the charts are looking very similar. So the overall markets right now shooting up, I think are probably pushing Honda as well. Topics has just shot up lately and this chart looks almost reciprocal of what it looks like in Honda. So I think the overall market is shooting it up as well. Uh, I looked at the implied volatility for both Honda and Toyota. Nothing really special going on right now. I mean, implied volatility right now I'm using the ADRs, but basically the ADRs move in the US the same as the uh, ordinary shares in Japan. Just to let you guys know who are new to ADRs, ADRs are called American Depository Sheets. They are foreign stocks that trade in US hours on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ or OTC. So it's basically usually a foreign company that trades overseas. They also trade in the US on a different symbol and but it's the same company and it's dollar based. So Honda trades in Japan in Tokyo at 7267. Uh, this is Japanese yen based and then the US it trades with HMC on the New York Stock Exchange US dollar based now looking at this right here no real change in implied volatility I think nothing really on here looking at the short volume ratio it's gotten quite low right now but it's nothing hugely alarming I'd say to worry about okay so looking at all of this right here and this piece of news what is my recommendation of what you should do with your portfolio let's see well first and foremost guys we have to separate whether it's long-term investment or short-term investment. Uh, long-term investment, I think that this is probably good to put in your portfolio, given the fact that this piece of news is probably going to continue to propel the stock because the markets are looking good right now. The overall markets look strong. Looks like they're going to continue going up. The Nikkei is up eight days in a row right now. And not just that, but Honda is i think quite oversold compared to let's say toyota now honda toyota trade i put this trade on and i was recommending this around here and it was sort of zigzagging not really doing anything and i took off the position and then bam it was a home run so it sucks i was recommending short honda sorry short toyota and then uh buy honda and then this thing was a huge home run uh, it was a nice pair trade, but obviously I did not expect this piece of news or earnings or the market to move in this way. And we missed this chance and it was an opportunity. So right now, I don't think it's good to put this on because it's already moved very, very huge. However, do note that just buying Honda outright, I think for your long term portfolio may make sense. Now, long term and short term is very different. Putting into here long term may be a good candidate because still long term wise, Honda versus Toyota. We still see here that if you look at this on a very long term chart here, let's say five years, Honda is still uh, okay. It's right around average. But if you even zoom this out even more, from what I remember here, 
Honda here, I still think it could keep going down. As in, uh, sorry, sorry, this chart can keep going down. As in, I still think that Honda can outperform Toyota and it still has way to, rooms to go because the last few years, Toyota has been outperforming and outperforming and outperforming and it's been going up. So let's say if you hold Toyota in your stock portfolio then maybe you want to switch out into honda short term what should you do short term is in separate investing from long term i don't recommend you chase the stock here because it's just moved too much too fast we don't know what's going to happen in the next few days i think this is something that right now at this time you should just look at it for a long term put it into your portfolio for your retirement account it looks good this is good news but short term don't chase it trying to think you can make a quick easy buck in the next few days that's my analysis for today hopefully you enjoyed the video today if you did enjoy it please press the like button below and please subscribe to my channel going forward thanks again guys look forward to other videos today on the turkish lira and also the japanese index up eight days in a row what will happen tomorrow look forward to those next videos thanks again guys